season now in full gear, many visitors will be keen to get in the water and up close to some of our intriguing marine life. One snorkel trail has just been given a facelift to ensure tourists are better educated than ever about what to look out for and how to protect it. Jenna Handy has that story. Nestled among the world's third largest coral reef, TCI is home to an abundance of magnificent marine life, which continues to lure in visitors year after year. It's David. At the top of most tourist sightseeing lists is the superb snorkeling spot at the Coral Gardens Resort. There, environmentalists have just completed a restoration program to the acclaimed underwater trail, which has been a local attraction for more than a decade. Don, tell us a little bit about the work that's been completed here and why it's so important. Well, the work that was done here is, uh, was to clean off the trail markers that were all installed about 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, they had all been covered with calcium carbonate, uh, algae, and things like that. So we removed the tiles and cleaned them up on shore here and then reinstalled them. They're important because uh, they provide information about the reef and the uh, uh, animal life on the, on the reef. Uh, and some do's and don'ts about what you should do and, you know, uh, and shouldn't do on the reef when you're snorkeling around here. What kind of things should tourists bear in mind when they're snorkeling here? Well, number one, uh, as the signs say, don't swim up inside the buoys. Uh, don't walk on the coral. Um, don't kick up a lot of sand around the coral because that will smother it. Um, and just treat it with respect and, and uh, don't abuse the, the coral that's there. The site is home to a dizzying array of brightly coloured fish and larger life too. Oh, you can see almost anything that you would normally see out on the, the deeper reefs. You see schools of grunts and uh, goatfish, turtles, barracuda. Uh, people have even seen stingrays and uh, squid out here. Well, this is one of the more convenient uh, snorkeling sites on the island because it's right offshore. It's uh, easily accessible, it's well marked, it's easy to find, and uh, it's just a nice reef. These days, the country's celebrated national parks are under increasing threat from climate change and invasive lionfish. Mr. Stark said it was vital that development projects too were closely scrutinized in order to curtail their environmental impact. It's responsible development so that you're not getting wastewater into the, into the, into the ocean, you're not silting up the, the coral reefs. Um, those are probably the biggest threats here, uh, other than the ones you mentioned with the lionfish and, and uh, global warming. The snorkel trail cost $2,000 to revamp, paid for by the reef fund plus a donation from TripAdvisor Chiefs. The organization also has a number of other projects in the pipeline. Well, we're hoping to do a similar type of project over at Smith Street, just down the beach here, because there's also a snorkel trail there, and that one's even worse shaped than this one was. Uh, we also hope to be able to add some markers over there so it's easier for visitors to find, because it's not ob that obvious when you walk over there. We also have a major grant that was given to us last year, earmarked for uh, improving d uh, dive site moorings, uh, both on Provo as well as in Grand Turk and Salt Key. The moorings eliminate the need for dive boat operators to drop anchors which damage the fragile coral reef. Founded in 2010, the Turks and Caicos Reef Fund is run solely by volunteers who raise funds for various programmes aimed at protecting the island's underwater environment. This is Gemma Handy for Channel 4 News. Wow! Well, that does it for tonight. That was good, Dee.